Hello and welcome back to our Freebie Friday videos. It's Shade here. Today's question asks whether a homeowner can skip a mortgage payment if that homeowner paid a bigger payment um, in the last month or in previous months. So let's say your monthly mortgage payment is $1,500 a month and in month one, you decided to pay $3,000 instead of the $1,500. Can you then turn around and skip the next payment the following month? And the answer is going to be a no. Um, and the reason why it's set up this way typically is because you're on an amortization schedule. So the way that the amortization schedule is essentially like a payment, a payment schedule that you have that factors in the principal, which is the actual amount borrowed, and then the interest, which is the cost of borrowing money. So the interest is what the lender would get because they allowed you to borrow money. So the mortgage lender will give you an amortization schedule typically at the time of closing. And that table, um, it's a table that requires you to make a payment every single month. Now, of course, you can skip mortgage payments at the very end of your mortgage uh, term. So you can shorten your mortgage term by making you know double, triple, multiple payments each month, but you cannot skip a month in the middle of the term. So for instance, um, that question asks if you could do a, a couple of payments maybe, or make three payments, four payments, and then skip the following month or skip another two months. That's not going to work out because of the fact that they have to recalculate your um, balance every month. So that's how it works. And the, um, the only way that you could really do this, I think the related question is whether you could accelerate your repayment of the mortgage. And yes, you can. So what you'll do is make additional payments and write on your payment request, or if it's an electronic payment, you have control over which box you check to say apply it to principal or to interest. So you would want to apply the extra payments to the principal which is that bottom line amount that you borrowed. And that will keep making the principal amount smaller and smaller and smaller so that it will shorten your overall term. So if you sign up for a 30 year term and you prepay it in this way um, regularly, you might end up paying the mortgage for 20 years or for 15 years rather than the 30 years. So that will also save you interest because remember the interest is based on how much is the total outstanding principal balance. So if you keep knocking out the principal that way, then you'll save on interest. Um, you don't skip any months. You do pay your regular payments every month, but you do end up skipping months that you could have owed money on at the very end of the mortgage term. Meaning that if you you were supposed to make mortgage payments for 30 years, and you end up making mortgage payments for only 20 years, then you've skipped 10 years of mortgage payments but only at the end of everything. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any other questions that you think I might be able to answer, please comment below and I'll be happy to cover them. And as always, have a wonderful Friday and I'll talk to you soon.